Hey guys, this is Des from Movies According to Des. I just did a whole video reviewing a bag of hammers and I went to edit it and it vanished. Like it was in the folder and then it wasn't. It's gone. So I have to do this freaking movie review again. So it's not going to be as good. Or maybe it'll be better. Who knows? Okay, so basically I saw a bag of hammers the other day and it was excellent. Go see it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so a bag of hammers stars Jason Ritter as Ben, Jake Sandvig as Alan, Chandler Canterbury as Kelsey, and Rebecca Hall as Melanie. So a Bag of Hammers is about Ben and Alan, their best friends, and Melanie is Alan's sister. The three of them had a rough childhood growing up. Um, they kind of bonded and supported each other through the years. Alan and Melanie's parents were abusive, and Ben had a problem when he was younger that he blames himself for. So they all kind of had rough childhoods, and Melanie just works as a waitress. She doesn't make a lot of money. Alan helps her out. Alan and Ben steal cars for money. They steal cars from funerals and then they sell them. So they help out Melanie and they own a building that they rent out. A woman moves in next door, a single mom, with her son Kelsey. Kelsey is 12 years old and this woman is not a good mother, but she has, she's a complex character. She has a tough life. She's not educated. She can't pay her bills at all. She can't afford Kelsey. She can't support him. There's no food in the house. It's just a really rough upbringing and she gets no support from her ex-husband who left her and Kelsey for another woman. So you feel bad for this character. She's trying to find a job. She's not educated. She can't get a job. You do feel bad for her, but as Melanie points out, she's out of work. It's not an excuse for the way she treats Kelsey. She yells at him. She doesn't spend time with him. She's a horrible parent. So the three of them, Melanie, Ben, and Alan, kind of become fond of Kelsey. He's a version of their, their younger selves, and they empathize with him, and they find themselves wanting to take care of Kelsey. Basically, the story moves along, and they bond, and they find themselves really caring about Kelsey and caring about his upbringing, and so all these stories intertwine. It's very emotional. It's very... It's very powerful. The first 15 minutes were doofy. I didn't like the first 15 minutes. Amanda Seyfried does show up in the first few minutes. She's great. She's really funny. So that was cool to see her because she's a great actress. So I really did enjoy this film. A Bag of Hammers was good on all levels. The acting was amazing. It was very genuine. It was very real. This could have been based on a true story for all you know. It was everything seemed genuine and like it could have happened. The feelings were real. The actors were fantastic. They became those characters, and you empathized with them, and you really liked each character. They all have their moments where you dislike what they're doing or saying, but they always come back around, and you always like them again. It was really great. It was emotional. It was very sweet, and you're just on everybody's side, and you want things to work out for this little boy and them because they're all they all seem damaged and like they they all need help too, and this little boy. Kind of helps them with their problems too. I definitely recommend A Bag of Hammers. Out of a s stars from one to five, I definitely give it a four. It was great. So let me know what you thought of it if you saw it, and if you didn't, it's on Netflix Instant, so check it out and let me know what you think of it. It's only an hour and a half worth the watch. Let me know.